Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Open Boat. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite fish species. We're going to be talking about the blackfish or tautog, whatever you like to call it. So the blackfish is a member of the wrasse family. So they have those big lips, the teeth, they're bottom dwellers. The coloration on them, they range from black to brown to that rust color, some grays. When they're first born, they are green. And then the females and the smaller males have a black chin, whereas those bigger males have that classic white chin. They're known not to be the prettiest fish, but I think they're adorable. They have very stout bodies and a very powerful thick tail that allows them to swim back down into wrecks and break your jig off. They have those distinctive conical teeth in the front of their mouths and then further back they have more of a flat set of teeth that they use for gnawing on their diet of crabs, mussels, barnacles, other shellfish, stuff that they feed on, they need those stronger teeth to crack down on that hard outer shell and get into the meat. So both the males and females mature at about three to four years old. And when a female is mature and in spawn season, they spawn from April through July. The average female, let's say like about a 12 inch female can lay 30,000 eggs per season, but if you imagine a like a five pound, 20 inch female, she can lay almost six times more than what that 12 incher can lay per season. So those are some little biological tidbits on my favorite fish, the blackfish. I'm gonna post up the current regulations for the species for all the regions here covered by the Fishman Magazine. We're gonna head out and we're gonna jig up some blackfish for ourselves to feature as a cameo on this week's open boat. All right, so we're literally out here in the field. Just caught a oh, little slippery one on the jig and we're going to quickly release it. With black fishing like in here, these ones are like pets and you wanna quickly release them after you catch them because all those double digit blackfish start out small. You gotta appreciate the little ones like that buddy right there and make sure you always follow the fishing regulations when you're black fishing, especially on a small rack piece. Keep your limit, respect it, put fish back if they're too small, revive the big ones and just follow the rules. <laughs> 